what's up everybody i am poetry y'all just don't understand how excited i am to do this video um once i made the decision that i was going to start my own tarot channel um i have been researching and learning a lot i've been looking at different decks of tarot cards oracle cards um trying to find out if i'm going to incorporate like chakra knowledge in with my readings i love well i have a um connection to dream interpretation so i was trying to figure out like, how i wanted to do this channel um i wanted to stand out from everyone else because i think i am i have a different personality um than most people but at the same time i'm connected to a lot of the readers that i'm seeing here on youtube um so uh i'm gonna give a shout out to charmed intuition she does charm readings with her tarot and i'm like so connected to that so i know i'm going to incorporate charms into my channel as well because i've always collected them um and each individual charm or or trinket or gadget has a special meaning to me and she when she did her video unveiling how to um create your own charm box the reasons why she said she used certain charms are the same reason why i hold on to certain things so they, yeah i'm gonna do that but this video is not about that um oh uh, OG spiritual spiritual OG and OJC astrology are two of the other women that I watch out of time love light and tarot is as well um, and while watching those three channels those four channels um, they have been what's the word I'm looking for confirming that starting my own tarot channel is what I should be doing um, as far as like my spiritual walk and my spiritual journey for like about four or five years now I I have had this idea that I'm supposed to be on a spiritual journey, on a new spiritual journey that most people are not going to understand. And what other um, divine art don't people understand other than, you know, tarot? Everybody thinks it's witchcraft and shit like that. Anyway, I cuss a lot, just in case you didn't know. So I'm in London for my birthday. Hey, yes, yes, yes. I'm in London for my birthday. And I decided while I was here that I was going to start collecting decks from the places that I travel to. So I went to this little cute little shop here uh, called Stepping Stones um, over in Greenwich, London. Nice little spot. I was intending on going there and buying one tarot deck and I ended up buying a few things. Spent almost $100. So I wanted to do an unboxing for my things that I purchased. Um, so before I forget, because I don't know these off of the top of my head, I'm going to start off with... Um, this here my daughter this is the wrong one this is mine um i bought this gem let me put this behind it <laughs> so you can see it better i don't know if you can see it better i bought this gem it's a uh, curling i believe that's how you pronounce it and this basically promotes courage uh success in business and I was very drawn to this stone when I saw it online. And when I walked to the shop, this was the first thing that I walked up to, not knowing this was the same one. And she was like, yeah, that's it. Karulian. I'm going to pronounce it right in a minute. I'm going to figure it out. And yeah, I just so freaking love and adore it. So freaking love and adore it. So I'm going to um, add that to my charm box. And I'm probably going to be doing some pick a card readings and things like that as well. So it's my first one. My daughter, who I think is so intuitive as well, um, picked up the rose quartz. If you can see that very well. Um, Self-love and fr uh, love and friendship and romance. You know, I, I do believe that's what the rose quartz is that leans toward. She also picked up the lapis azuli. Um, promotes uh, truth telling within self and with others, um, encouraging strong bonds and friendships and uh, relationships and with love, friendships, you know. Um, yeah, be, just being encouraged to speak your own truth. Um, that's what this, and she drew to this, like immediately. These are the two she drew to. And this is two of the things that she has been dealing with a lot, you know. So we picked up those, we put hers in her little thing. And like I said, I wanted to learn and understand chakras so i got a little chakra bag of chakra stones let's open this up here 
I am like really excited for this y'all y'all just don't understand I've been talking about it on my other channel for a while now and I wanted to just start this channel I'll just introduce it to who I am and the reason why I wanted to do um, tarot and why I'm drawn to stones and things of that nature so my first little videos are gonna be like introductions just to see if you really want to rock with me you know what I'm saying um, and like I said I don't know these by heart um, I'm still learning some of the things that I want to incorporate some things that I have been f familiar with over my time but didn't have a full clear understanding so I'm learning you know I'm learning um, so we all know there's seven different you know um, there's seven chakras that people are more or more familiar with there's more chakras than seven but people are more familiar with the with seven um, so we're going to start off with the hematite stone and this is supposed to give stability, energy distribution, and promotes physical survival. Then we have the agate stone. I may pronounce things differently than you do. That's how I pronounce it, the agate stone. Um, it functions for creativity, feelings, um, sexual desires. Then the citrine. Um, my citrine stone. It uh, helps give self-confidence and personal power. Okay. The green quartz. Um, deals with relationships and personal development. Okay. My soda light. I just love that. Oh, drop my stone. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, communication, personal expression, and the flow of information. Uh, it basically is like the... Um, the 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 uh, the blah, 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 blah. I forgot what I just called it. My daughter's stone, the lapis lazuli, is in soda light or familiar and fat and family. Um, then of course, the most gorgeous amethyst. And once I really get into my channel, I'll I'll explain how these connect to the different chakras. Um, it's more concerned with understanding, knowledge, and mental organizing. Yes, and then we have the quartz crystal, which is sometimes can be a purplish color, but it's really um, a pearl. It's just overall balance of the chakra system. That's what these stones are. So, have a little plastic baggie with my little list explaining to me what they are, because like I said, I'm not that familiar with them yet, but I am learning. And like I said, I resonate with different stones. So when I do my pick a card readings, I may use these. They may also appear in the charms um, as well. Then I got this most adorable bag for my new tarot cards. This is freaking cute. It has a lot of symbolism on the bag itself. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. One day I'm going to sit down and break down this entire bag so you can see it in its entirety. Okay, so... My daughter picked out for me my Orc Angel animal cards. I wanted to dabble into um, spirit guides and make connections to the spirit animals. Um, like I said, I do have a lot of dreams in my materials. Sometimes I'm going to be doing tarot readings directly after I have a dream and try to connect that dream to the actual reading. Um, it's one of the ways I'm going to go. So. I wanted to have the, the animals, spirit animals, because sometimes the animals in the that I may see in my dream, um, I, some animals may appear in my dream, and there may be a card for that to connect it. If I can get my box open, because I don't want to turn my box up. You know, people have like a connection to their cards, and I'm learning as I go along that I am starting to be very connected to these cards. Um, this is Diana Cooper. Um... She is the best-selling author of 30 books on angels, unicorns, ascensions, and Atlantis. And I think the artist is a Dutch artist named Marjolaine Kurijut. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Um, yeah, she just loves animals. So there's a little book to help us tell what the animal's about. And then, I just feel so, I love the artwork on the back. I love it. I didn't even see that when I bought this box. That is gorgeous. 
and then he's like a card this is the ant card um love the size gray squirrel this is so funny that i just opened up the gray squirrel because on my when i decided to come to london i kept joking with people on twitter about how americans say the word squirrel compared to how um, people from the uk say it i want to say it's like squirrel or something like that and then i open this up and i get the gray squirrel and it says find new ways of solving problems lord if this is not resonating with me right now it's, it's resonating with me right now but it's my birthday I love it. Go wait till I show my daughter. Wait till I show her the deck. I'm going to keep most of my tarot cards in their original box. Um, but I got that bag for this next set of cards. Now, I opened up the plastic on it already, y'all. I opened up the plastic. And I opened up uh, the box itself. And I was like, oh my god, these are so beautiful. I need to do a box opening. So that's what I'm doing right now. So... This right here is the Dreams of Gaia tarot cards. I just thought that was so gorgeous. Then I looked at the back and saw the images on the back. How gorgeous these cards were. So I'm not gonna, I can imitate the plastic coming off again. <laughs> um, Raven Feeling, that's the name that's on the box. Um, it had this little protective cover this book this is what got me what made me say i'm gonna do um an opening this is the front cover of the book get ready to say ah look at that gorgeousness how fucking beautiful is that <sighs> to seek to feel to heal and to grow that is the purpose of tarot I've always said it to people when people try to tell me that it's witchcraft or it's hoodoo voodoo or stuff like that I'd be like no the whole purpose of it is to get connected with your inner self and this message right here is saying it all is to seek to feel to grow and to heal that is the purpose of tarot oh my god I'm in love with these cards Let me I don't even want to I don't want to pop the cherry of it but I got to huh if I got to look Ooh, a card fell I'm gonna look at that in a minute look at this look at that gorgeousness the gold trimation Y'all see the smile on my face? I have not been this happy since I've been here in London. I'll tell y'all about that later. The beauty of this card. This is zero. This card is choice. Like I said, I'm still learning a lot of these cards. So I need to read my book to see what the zero card is and how it relates. There's a lot going on though. Oh man, third eyes are open. And if the funny thing is, like, I noticed that there's three eyes on here, and the third eye is open on here, and the, that's uh, uh, cur, cur, the, the card, the, the stone, the orange color stone, the first one I pulled out. Um, it's chakra. It's a chakra stone. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Well, let me see what fell. Oh, he's beautiful. It fell down this way. This is the king of the water. I, what, what does this mean? Cause like I said, I don't know. I don't know yet um, with all these different, this is not the, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not the original tarot, you know, the writer weight, that's what it's not, okay? So they have different images and symbolism. Um, and let's see how he connects. The king of the water. The key words are calm, contemplative, insightful, fluid, balanced, protective, nurturing, jealousy, and possessiveness. Um, the king of the water represents a strong person who is calm and protective, like a safe harbor in a storm. Nurturing, uh, who embraces no gender-specific role, willing to be a mother and father, nurturer, protector, homemaker, provider. Um, 
when the king of water appears reversed it can represent a feeling of boredom and when it fell out it fell upside down y'all when it fell out if it's upside down for me I, I flipped it over so i'm learning reversals too and i have been bored as hell here in london <laughs> so this is resonating with me right now that it um represents a feeling of boredom wow wow so yeah i'm gonna learn these i'm gonna learn these my channel is gonna officially start um on july 1st um because i want to make sure that i am being the best representative of who i am as far as like giving you the information the tarot readings um an understanding of who i am to so you would know whether or not i'm the person that you want to connect with um, as far as this journey goes, I just want to unbox that. Um, I'm going to eventually be showing you all of my tarot cards that I have. Like uh, my daughter said, she think I'm becoming addicted to it. Because um, every time I see a deck that I just love, it just draws me, right? And so I buy it. So now I have um, one, two, three tarot decks and two decks of oracle cards. Oracle cards are different than tarot cards if you didn't know. Um, I'm excited. Um, I think I have the angel oracle cards, and this will be my animal or archangel um, animal cards. I'm loving it already. I'm loving it. So stay tuned, y'all. Um, I don't even know what my channel is going to be called yet. <laughs> it might just be Twisted Tarot. Y'all know I'm twisted about everything else. Twisted energies and tarot, dreams, whatever. Um, but yeah, thank y'all for watching. Peace.